What is up, everybody? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Erin Bees. I'm a wife, a mom, a military veteran, a certified personal trainer, and I spent 13 and a half years in multi-level marketing, healed my way out, and now I'm using all of my social media platforms to educate and raise awareness around the dangers of multi-level marketing companies and the tactics used by their reps. If you'd like to follow me on Instagram, here's how you can do that. And today is probably going to be a little bit shorter of a video. And I want to give a shout out to the person that sent this to me. You know who you are. Thank you so much for sending it my way because I think it's a perfect example of all of the income claims and the dangling of hopefully making income in multi-level marketing companies. And to be quite honest, what she's saying in this video is flat out not accurate. And the way that we know that that's not accurate is because of what is listed on the income disclosure statement, excuse me, from Monet and from any MLM company that has one. By the way, if an MLM company that's been around for at least a year does not have an income disclosure statement, that should be a giant red flag. Anyways, I don't know who this person is. I don't need to know who she is or what she's about. What I am going to be talking about are the claims that she is making and the dangling of the carrot trying to recruit people into Monet, which in my opinion is a commercial cult and a pyramid scheme. I don't even know how Monet is still functioning. Anyways, let's get to today's video. As always, love to hear your comments, love to interact with you guys, appreciate you being here, and let's see what she has to say. Let's go, June. Let's do this. I'm so pumped to do this live right now. What I'm about to tell you actually could change your life. Crazy, cliche, cheesy. Yes, I know, it literally sounds like that. But this opportunity that I'm gonna tell you all about right now has completely changed my life. And I've been doing Monate now for three years and it is honestly one of the best decisions that I've ever made. And I wanna tell you right now, June 1st, how you can make $810 plus $300 in product credit in the next two weeks. That's just the minimum. I literally map this out as like the bare minimum. If someone joins me today, works their tail off for the next two weeks, they are going to at a bare minimum make $810 and $300 worth of products um, right away. Like literally right away. Um, it's that. Except that's a claim you can't make. And the income disclosure statement shows the exact opposite of what she's saying and what she will continue to say throughout this video. This is a perfect example of somebody that in my opinion is using something like a fast start program when somebody joins as a distributor in a multi-level marketing company and you have different parameters that you have to hit, whether it's recruiting and sales or both or a combination of both. And I would love to see, and I've talked about this a lot recently, I would really love to see from these multi-level marketing companies, which probably will never happen, the percentage of distributors that actually hit the different levels of the fast start programs, which in my opinion is if they do have people that are actually hitting these things, it is over inflating the income. It is giving them a sense of, oh my gosh, I'm actually going to make some some money here. But then as soon as that fast start period ends, that income drops typically. So I think that there's a small percentage of people that actually do complete fast start programs. And of those people, I don't think that there's a lot of people that are sticking around, especially in Monet, especially with everything that's gone on in the last several years. So this is just an example of overhyping, just trying to say, listen, I've mapped this out. It's simple. It's not easy, but it's simple. And here's how you can do this. And here's how you can do that. And that free product credit, they're prob probably going to end up having to pay tax on. So because a lot of these companies, and if there's any accountants in the house, and, and I am incorrect in what I'm saying, feel free to correct me in the comments. From my experience, when you have a free product credit, that goes as a source of income that's listed on the 1099 if you live in the United States. So let me know, accountants, because I know there's some of you and you guys are amazing. I appreciate y'all. Let me know in the comments. Simple. And I know that there's a lot of misconceptions and like fear over network marketing. And, you know, I would say myths that nobody makes money, only the people. Myths? I'm sorry. Is your own income disclosure statement a myth or is it factual? Are they facts, I should say, that come directly from the company? 
they're not myths. People aren't scared to join multi-level marketing. People are educating themselves because there are plenty of places that they can get information. Pick a social media platform and the chances are that there are people on there that are advocating against multi-level marketing in order to warn consumers. So is it really a myth or is it education and people are finding it on whatever platform they like to to spend time on i don't i don't think it's a myth people at the top make money you spend more than you make like i've heard it all and i'm here to tell you that that is not the case with the company that i'm partnered with it is not the case with the plan that i'm about to share with you so i'm going to lay this out for you partner with me to promote a product that everybody needs everybody washes their hair this is except not everybody washes their hair because there are some people that don't have hair for whatever reason. And so do they still need shampoo? Probably not. So already we are speaking in very general terms and, oh, everybody does this. And no, not everybody does that. And that's okay. It's not candles. This is not jewelry. This is not essential oils. Like this is a product that everybody needs and uses. Everybody wants cleaner products. Everybody wants products that work. Like these are essential products in everybody's bathroom. Like this is this is not rocket science, you guys. I sell shampoo, I promote shampoo. So a little bit of skincare in there, a little bit of wellness, but primarily I sell shampoo. So if you partner with me today, June 1st, and then help eight of your friends get better hair. So I'm sorry, eight? You want people to join you as a distributor in a company that people typically lose money and you want them to commit to talking eight of their friends into buying a product that has a ton of lawsuits out there. And I like how she said it like, oh yeah, it's just eight. It's no big deal. She didn't say no big deal, but that that's how I'm kind of taking this. Like, oh, it's no big deal. That is a big deal. That's a lot of people. Eight new customers and two of your friends introduce this business to them. So you have to recruit two people. <sighs> okay. Bring two friends in. We're talking 10 people. If you help 10 people in the next two weeks get better hair and skin and share an amazing opportunity with them, you are going to, at a bare minimum, make $810. Mm, I'm gonna stop you right there because that is not factual. According to Monet's income disclosure statement that I'm looking at on my phone and I have included in the video description, 91.33% of active Monet brand partners in 2022, they made a median annual gross income of $34 for the year. I know I said annual, but I wanna make sure that I'm being very clear. For the year, $34. Does Monet have distributor fees, annual distributor fees? Maybe, I'm not really sure. But that doesn't even cover the cost of one single product from Monet. So when she's saying, oh, you have to have two people that join this business, which it's not a business. I had somebody trying to come for me in the comments on the Justin Prince video saying, oh, he's he's a business owner. Okay, check yourself because what I was talking about in that video was his relationship with Modair and how he is not a business owner when it comes to Modair and their contracted workers. I'm sure she'll probably see this video, so just calm down, okay? Anyways, they're not business owners when they are a distributor in a multi-level marketing company. This person is more than likely, if she's in the United States, getting a 1099 from Monet, and she is responsible for taking care of her taxes, which in multi-level marketing, they don't talk about any of that stuff. They are not preparing people for any of those things. It's It's such a wild, it's such a wild ride. But 91.33% of people in Monet in 2022 made $34 as far as the median annual gross earnings before any expenses. So this $800 or whatever it was that she said here just a second ago, not accurate according to the information from Monet. And if anybody comes in the comments that's in Monet and they're feeling some type of way and you don't like that I'm sharing facts, go talk to your company because that's where I'm getting this from. So when I map that out, it's like you're going to get two block bonuses. You're going to get uh, customer acquisition bonuses. You're going to get commissions. You're going to rank up and be able to take advantage of a double rank advancement opportunity that is on the table for June 1st through June 15th only. I would love to know. If this person recruited any people within this time frame that she's talking about, I would love to know how many of those people or how many of her team members actually did this, whatever she's calling it, that she's mapping out here. 
because I bet zero. I bet zero people in her downline completed this. I bet she didn't even complete it. And you're going to get $100 for partnering because you get a $100 coupon for products. And by helping two other people do that, you're gonna get a $100 coupon for both of them partnering with you and they're gonna get a $100 coupon as well. So if you're wondering like, oh, okay. $100 coupon, okay, but you're still spending money. You're, you still have to buy products. You still have to pay shipping. You still have to pay tax. Monet is practically, in my opinion, begging people to join. They are so desperate for some kind of revenue. <laughs> It seems like they are practically begging people to join. Don't join this company. Don't join any multi-level marketing company. I do believe that the industry is dying. And when that day comes, I'm going to be real excited. Okay. $810. Like what's that going to cost me basically? And I am the type of leader. I like to lay things out for people. I do not want any kind of, hi there never never fails um i do not want any kind of like misconception or like you know what am i getting myself into like i'm super transparent this is what it's going to cost you so to open your own business to literally become a business owner except you're not we've already covered that you are not a business owner you're not making any decisions on product pricing new products what you're going to discontinue you are not making you're not working with the supplier the manufacturer you're not you're not making any of those decisions you are simply holding up a product and saying hey if you shampoo your hair check this out here's my link if you're interested oh you want to make some extra money which is also not factual here's my link kind of thing so no, you're not a business owner. Today, um, sharing a product that everybody already uses, you're gonna buy a box of shampoo. You're gonna buy a box of products. Those are not products that you are gonna sell. Those are your personal products that you're gonna use. And so we're personal consumption. Remember one of the last lives that I did where Brian Underwood, the CEO of Prove It, was trying to talk about, oh, well, we're not like the other companies. He didn't word it this way, but essentially he was saying, we're not like other companies. We're not this pyramid that's built off of personal consumption. In my opinion, every MLM is a pyramid scheme built off of some sort of personal consumption, whether they're ordering it direct from their actual distributor account or ghost accounts or fake accounts or whatever. It is based off of personal consumption, in my opinion. Y'all let me know what you think in the comments. Da, 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 da. 150 bucks. Literally, you can become a business owner today for $150. You do if you can start for $150 and become a business owner, how come they just terminated Tony who joined Amari, which is really unfortunate. And I will be covering that, yes. How come they, they were able to terminate her if she's a business owner? And anybody else that's been terminated from any other MLM company, including myself from Modere. How does that work? Because you're not a business owner. You not have to buy every month. There is no monthly minimum to sell. There are no quotas. That's it. That's she just gave quotas at the beginning of this to make a certain amount of income. You have to have eight new customers. And I'm sure those eight customers have to buy a certain amount of product. And you have to recruit two team members. You have to recruit two people to join as distributors in Monet or brand partners as they refer them refer to them as that is a quota and it's a it's a quote unquote sales type environment so there's going to be quotas of some kind to make whether you are trying to rank up or you are trying to make this income that she's talking about that probably nobody is making and again refer to the income disclosure statement those are quotas literally it you can get your box of money products for $150 you're going to get a hundred dollar coupon that you can then use for more products after that um, and then you're gonna help two friends do the same thing. And you're on your way to literally quadrupling. I say investment, I feel like investment is like a ridiculous word because we're talking- Yeah, because this is not an investment. This is an expense. This is you're throwing money away, hoping that one day you'll make money. No, can you imagine how much shampoo whether you use salon style or salon grade shampoo and conditioner or hair products in general, or you buy it from the grocery store or wherever you, you get your products, can you imagine how much shampoo and conditioner, we'll just say shampoo because she said shampoo, $150 could get you and how long that would last? I think it's a perfect example of how overpriced these multi-level marketing companies' products are. Yikes. Fucking $150. I most likely at some point this weekend will go spend $150 at Target or the grocery store, of which neither of those things have the potential to actually make me money. The irony. One, this is a false equivalence fallacy. She's comparing buying groceries or going out to dinner or spending $150 at your favorite store as, you know, th that's not going to make you any money. Well, 
plot twist, neither is Monet. Neither is spending $150 with Monet. That's not going to make you any money either. And again, refer to the income disclosure statement where 91.33% of people made $34 in 2022 for the year before any expenses. And <clears throat> I know that people out there need money. I started this business three years ago because club sports, activities for my kids, vacations for our family were honestly things that were outside of our budget. Those were things that we had to put on credit cards. Those were things that we had to sacrifice for. And I wanted a way to be able to pay for my kids sports and take my family on vacation once or twice a year and have that not go on a credit card. And, and you should be thanking your team for that. If this person has a team, she said she's been in for three years, I would love to see her profit and loss statement. Because when you're in an MLM, and in my opinion, the uplines are intentionally deceptive when it comes to the income disclosure statements and what people are making and all of that stuff, I would love to see her profit and loss statement. I would love to see what she is actually bringing home. And they always forget to thank their team. And why am I saying that? Because we know the majority of income and the internet leak when it came to Monet's top leaders and the percentage of money that they were making off of having a team and what their team was ordering and selling if they sold anything at all and what they make off of their retail revenue, if you will, from selling to customers. The majority of their income is made from having a team, which just proves our point. And when I say we, I mean the anti-MLM movement. So I would love to see her breakdown. I would love to see the percentage of people that have actually hit this program that she's you know, mapping out for everybody. I would love to see her profit and loss statement. And I would love to see the percentage of people that actually hit these fast start bonuses within these multi-level marketing companies. Because just like I said earlier, I don't think it's a very large percentage of people at all. I think it's very, very small. And honestly, not always have to say no to my kids. You know, when you need to buy your kids a pair of shoes, sometimes those things can be very stressful. And I know that because the statistics are ridiculous. 60% of Americans could not afford a $1,000 emergency right now. So you are kind of aware of how statistics work. Okay. Why don't you study your own income disclosure statement? Because there are a lot of people that $34 for the year also would not pay for vacations, also would not pay for groceries, also would not pay for shoes for their children or sports or traveling or any of those things. That $34 that the majority of the company has made, according to Monet, is not going to pay for anything. In fact, 91.33% of the company are probably saying, probably paying, excuse me, to be a part of Monet. So you're trying to recruit people in saying they're gonna make extra money, but it's the complete opposite. You should be ashamed of yourself. And then to use mom guilt, parent guilt, to try and say, listen, I know that you're hurting. I know that you know times are hard and, and you're trying to put food on the table and this and that. And then you're like, this is the answer. No, it's not. No, it's not. And I'm telling you how to make $800 in two weeks. Like that's just the minimum. You can make, make way more than that. Um, so if you're- Where? How? If you're the top of the pyramid, I'm sorry. <laughs> Just like I have talked about several other companies, Modere being one of them, I think Prove It is another one. I Definitely Monet is probably going to be the, the first ship that is going to sink when it comes to multi-level marketing, in my opinion. If you're interested, if you've been looking for something, it's okay to be scared. I promise you guys, we help people all the time. I was scared. I'm like, I'm still kind of scared, actually. Why are you scared? Are you seeing your check dropping? Are you feeling a little desperate because people on your team are not ordering as much? Are you feeling a little desperate because sales are down, volume is down, which means your check is down? Are you a little scared? Of sharing this opportunity with people and standing firm in something that I know works, that I know just can absolutely change your life. So if you're looking for an opportunity and you wash your hair, I can help you. Um, so send me a message or drop in the comments right now um, info and I will send you the info that you might be looking for. Plot twist. <laughs> Nobody actually dropped info in her comments, which I'm grateful. I'm grateful for that. I think that's fantastic because hopefully that means one, maybe she doesn't have that large of a following, but two, maybe that means that people are seeing how predatory these schemes really are and are choosing to not interact. And if that's the case, that's really, really exciting. Really exciting. Another thing that I was thinking about as I was listening to her is I would really love to know 
what her team, what her team volume is, what are her team members making, if anything, where do they fall in that income disclosure statement? Because I bet they're probably in that 91.33%. I just wonder where she is at, but yeah. Anyways, that's today's video, guys. These are the tactics that we are seeing. These are some wild income claims that cannot be backed up factually, according to Monet's own income disclosure statement. And we see this all the time. So to the individual that sent this to me, thank you so much. I appreciate you. If you guys have not already liked and subscribed, it would be really cool if you would do that. I appreciate it so much. And it helps me get the word out to other people to not join these schemes that we're seeing, whether it's income claims, health claims, lifestyle claims, it's not going to work. And we know that because of the statistics and the, the data around multi-level marketing companies. So anyways, thanks for being here. Thanks for watching all the way through. Appreciate all of your comments and I will see you on the next video. Bye everybody.